What's good, YouTube? It's Nick Legend Russ, and today I'm here with another Amazon unboxing video. As you can see here, I recently got um, I recently picked up another G Nintendo Switch Collector's Edition from Amazon Warehouse. And if you would have seen a previous video now, maybe five or six videos back, you would have known I would have shown the unboxing of Harvest Moon One World. And as I would have mentioned in that video, I was a Amazon Warehouse pickup. It was supposed to be the Nintendo Switch version, but they sent the PlayStation 4 version. And I did get my refund for it. And I waited to get a trusted Amazon Warehouse and so let's see what we got in this video. So as you can see here, it's a pretty big box. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and lift it up just a bit, just, just so you can see the how much it is. Like I said, this um Harvest Moon One World Collector's Edition made from limited run. So it's a limited so limited run came up with the idea of this of this particular uh, collector's edition. It does retail for um a hundred dollars or ninety-nine ninety-nine USD. I do believe to also by the way at the current time of this video it's actually on a small sale. I believe it's like I don't know 72 bucks. So if you did like what's in here and if it does come with everything it says it does like this video let me know have you played any of these games? Or at least before they became what they are now. So, as you can see here, it's a really big box. Now, the box is about the same size as the one I did before. So, same thing, Harvest Moon, One World Collector's Edition. And let's see, let's see here. You got the whole Amazon stickers, the whole Amazon. Thanks to you, this product has a second life. We appreciate it. Um, some information was probably on here, probably when I probably shipped it just like this to this person, whoever had this before. And yeah, and um, also from the way it looks, it has some um, Christmas stuff. So maybe this was a Christmas return. So that's not having, that's not being really truthful to me. So I really don't know what could be in this unboxing, but um, yeah, let's um, go ahead and slice open the contents of this box and like i mentioned in the previous video not only did i not receive the nintendo switch version of the game it was a playstation 4 copy but i also didn't receive the chicken plush so okay oh now this looks promising okay okay so let me go ahead and pull out the contents as you can see here there's the chicken plush here's the game and give me one sec to pull this out. Here's the um, music box. I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it over and drop it upside down. If, I can, if it could slide out the box. There we go. Come on. Almost there. Stuck in there. They make it really tight. There we go. Here's all the little extras you get in there with the box. So, this looks promising, so let's see what we got here. So, once again, I am the proud owner of two of these magnetic musical diorama sets. I'm going to just call it the music box. Here's the Switch game. So, I'm going to compare the Switch game to the... Um, PlayStation 4 copy, so as you can see here. Oops, I keep hitting my camera. So sorry about that, guys. And I'm gonna just not I don't know if I'm gonna read this too much, but it is one player TV tabletop handheld mode, Nintendo Switch Online compatible. Just like I said, this isn't really the true Harvest Moon because it's made by Natsume. The true Harvest Moon is Story of Seasons, so like I said, main reason I bought this was for the music box and this. So let's go ahead and open this up. So yeah, it's it feels fluffy. Now you could say, well, how can you tell if it's fluffy because of the gloves? I don't know. Don't ask me. But 
here's the little chicken plush from Natsume. I mean, I, I guess, like I said, limited run helped make this collector's edition or something. So, and also, by the way, um, limited run. I don't know if I will truly unbox games coming from them in the near future. No guarantee on that one because of the whole debacle of the whole woman that got fired for basically nothing. I feel bad for her. And it's been a huge scandal going on with Limited Run, and they've been losing a lot of subscribe um, followers and, you know, people canceling pre-orders. And what else? Um, they even blocked their comment section, but I don't want to talk about them in this video and dumb down the video. Let's just go ahead and open up the Switch game. So, I mean... At least I'm glad that Amazon sent the right thing this time. I was worried that it was going to be another PlayStation 4 copy or I wasn't going to get the chicken plush. But yeah. So here's the inside of the game. So this is promising. It's just like the PlayStation 4 version. Let me leave that there. And the disc fell out. That's not promising. So forgive me. I do say that my cousin who um, has a PlayStation 4 actually played this game. They said that it was all right for what it was, but they're not really big on farming simulators. So there's that. Let me pull out the game cartridge. Go ahead and show the back. I mean the front. There goes the back. Let me go ahead and get my Nintendo Switch, and then I'll show the music box in just one sec. Yep, um, I've been playing some games recently, so let's go ahead and... um show off what we got xenoblade 3 yep i've been playing a lot of that um dlc hopefully by the time this video comes out they would have announced the um third dlc or at least show off some stuff in the nintendo direct i don't know what like i said this video was before the nintendo direct but yeah, Harvest Moon, One World, Natsume, like I said. They're the people who um, translated the games originally, but they're not the original developers of the Harvest Moon series. They're the ones that call it Harvest Moon here in the States. Okay, and last but not least, got the music box. Let's see, it should be just the same as the other one. Should be, yeah. Nothing looks untouched, anything. In fact, I recently went ahead and I'm not going to open this one. I'm going to actually keep this one sealed. Retail value, since I'm the proud owner of two of these. I'm going to go ahead and grab the one I already opened. I already also, before this video, already went ahead and put the batteries in. Went ahead with the tool set. I already went ahead and did that. I got the little figures for it, so I'm going to go ahead and play it in this video. So these are magnetic, so they do stick. Now, I don't know how well they stick because I haven't played it before now. So I have no clue what's going to happen. Let's go ahead and turn it on, and I'm going to let it go around a few times. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, one of them just fell over. That's not good. Let's see. I'm gonna go zoom in the camera just a bit. Oh, the cow's still stuck. There we go. Uh, all three of them. All right. <laughs> that could have been a little bit better, to say the least. But it's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, it it's, it's a novelty. Let's just say that. Me having two of these, you know, I don't know if I'll, like, sell one of them in the near future. Or if I'll, I don't know, give it to somebody with a kid or some fan of Harvest Moon. The not to me, Harvest Moon, I should say. But other than that, I don't really have much more to say than that. It came with the chicken plush. It came with the 
actual Switch games. So I own both games. I don't know if I'm going to keep the PlayStation 4 version or if I'm going to give it to the cousin that I said played it or trade it GameStop. Who knows? I looked up GameStop's value for the game, time of the video. It's like 10 bucks. I mean, like I said, I did get my refund from Amazon originally for this. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video out like that. You let me know, have you played any of these farming sim games? I know a lot of people complain about them on the Nintendo Switch videos. N Nintendo, um, excuse me, on the Nintendo Directs. And I believe um, Marvelous, who does the Story Season games, I believe they have two coming out. One of them's a remake, and then I believe it's another one. I think it's like, I think it's Room Factory 3 special. But you just let me know, have you played any of these games? Which ones are your favorites? And maybe suggest one or two to me. I don't think I'm going to personally pick up the other two Harvest Moon games for Switch. I looked at them. They look like ass. They look like mobile games. But I'm going to go ahead and end it out like that. So like and subscribe, guys. And as I was say, have a nice goddamn day. Goodbye and have a good one.